the stage. This man plays like an absolute savage. He never stops for nobody. Blindingly fast gameplay. Let's call up Rogue Light. All right, and his opponent, equally crazy in his gameplay. One of the biggest crowd pleasers out there. The king himself, the lord of the Koopas, the lone representative of New Jersey in this top eight. Let's get Spectrum's Leon! Yo, if there was a crowd favorite, if you even have to guess at this point, <laughs> yeah, it's honestly. Not, apparently it's not Leon they're saying, saying something else. But if, if you have to take a guess at this point who the crowd is rooting for, they, the person who put Mars in losers, Leon. Leon. Leon has beaten Nairo in bracket. He has beaten Cosmos in bracket. He has beaten Mars in bracket. Well, what's so special with about him? With ba I knew that. I knew it was Bowser. But it's still. Like, ba Bowser got the sauce. Bowser's scary. He, dude, he, he is so, he's so frightful to fight against that character. I get so frightened fighting against him because you just know you could die it's at any second. And he won't. And he won't. It's already stressful enough to fight heavies to begin with for a lot yeah. of players. But when you have one that has a quick command grab like so, it establishes fear and shield. And then if you try to move, that fair is so strong. You try to go some, uh, do a spot dodge at the ledge, you get hit by that nair into back air. And you're like, what am I supposed to do? Luckily for Light, he has a very fast character yeah. who's good at stumping out landings. And he's going to be trying to make sure that he takes the W. But he's got to respect that up be out of shield. So let's jump right into it. Spectrum's Leon fighting off against Rose. Rogue's Light. Now, what's interesting about this, I was talking to Leon earlier. He believes that Bowser beats Fox. You know, he thinks that's in his favor, and Light wasn't like going to deny that. Co coming down here with Light, we were actually playing prior to the event, and he thinks that this matchup is actually even. And, yeah, I mean, it, it's tough, right? Because uh, when you think about it, there's something you're not going to see from Light in this matchup. He probably won't be using that much jab, which Fox gets so much. Whoa, hold on! You're going for a trip! On the platform! The, Get him out of here! The answer you wouldn't think to have, and all sleeves are already going up. But that, that's the problem. You're trying to go for that up smash or maybe another nair on the bottom, and that command grab is so fast. Got to respect it. There we go. Just goes for the simple upbeat out of shield. Really good punish whenever Light just even taps that shield ever so lightly. And here's the thing, too. Bowser can definitely go off stage to try and go for these gimps. This and is hard. This is so hard for Light to get back to the stage. And even after that, he side B's all the way back into center stage and just keeps getting hit by these uppies. It lingers so long, catches neutral, get up and roll so well. Okay, so like this is going to be really tough for Light to try to find his way into the stock. Down air, could lead into up smash. He knew the grab was coming. Another one, beats it out, but he's not going to die! The heaviest character in this game! Even with this the Fatso! Even with the reduced kill potential coming in from, uh, from Fox, you just cannot close out that stock. But there we go. His shield is already so little. He was able to get a shield poke even if he decided to drop it. But he tried to parry instead. Fantastic shield poke coming out from Light. This could be the turn up he's looking for. Now, Light's been absent from top eights at like these A tier, S tier tournaments since April. Yeah. Smash 2GG Prime Saga was like the last time you saw him at a top eight. He finally broke the curse and now he's in winner's side. We talked about the curse. Of oh, excuse me. Forget that curse. Yo, put that curse back. That up tilt coming Yo, put in. Put it back. You, something that Light also has to respect when he's going for all these up airs is there could be a downer that comes in a multiple fares just pushing Light into the corner, catching him with the up B as well. Gonna avoid that grab. We'll see if Light can try to get this edge guard. You see him fiending. And that's that Nair I was talking about before. He's trying to get the last hit of Nair so he can get a back air. Trying, oh! trying to look for a spot dodge right there to get that so forward tiny. smash. But Light pretty much cannot hold shield right now. Get an up smash. Still he not gonna kill. Die! 164%. My man is living. Living the go. dream. Poke, try and go for the poke. You see him trying to drill it out of the shield. He's on the platform. Not yet. Not he's quite. He's probably going to drop down go for a fair. Instead, he's going to go for the forward tilt. Mm. There you go. Gets there the cross up go. back here. 83% though. You have to respect pretty much everything that Leon does. As so many things could just delete your stock at this point. Like I said, Leon just took out Mars prior. Trying to go against Mars, but this is oh, this is like so free for Fox. Gets so many, so much damage off of those up tilts. Are you putting him on 87%? What in the world? He messed oh, up! It, he tried to go. 
Yo, he, he popped off to the crowd. You saw that? You know he knows what? the crowd's on Leon's side. And light was, like, beautiful. You, you That's know, my kisses for you guys. You know he SD. And, and the crowd respects it because... Uh, to be real, at this point, Light is just pseudo Tri-State as well. A lot of us in Connecticut, we come down here all the time. Yeah. And, you know, it's a very passionate match. Everybody wants to see the Bowser win. But they were laughing about that, too. But he definitely just stole that game. Back in the Smash 4 days, man, he, like, I felt like he was New York. He was at Xeno so often. There's that kiss. There's that kiss right there. Now, but, <sighs> Leon, bring it up. You always have to respect Leon, though, regardless. Because Leon, we've seen these comebacks that he has made. Even though he just lost that, he had... Dominant control through mm. pretty much that entire game one. Yeah, that, that, that was definitely Leon's favor. It's just light, bounded answer. Like I said, kind of looking like the previous game, he went for the forward, it drags him down. Obviously, it doesn't work as well, but it puts Bowser into a bad enough spot that he just cannot get back to the stage, especially if he lost his double jump. So let's go right back to PS2. Again, these are this is a pretty good stage for Bowser. Mm -hmm. It's wide open, gives him the ability to try to like re grab platforms all over the place to be able to get that uh, side B, the flying slam. Yeah, I like the commitments coming in. Oh, there we go. Ooh. GI block. Get up, oh, but you know what? He couldn't follow up after that. Still racking on his damage, though, bringing this back to Yo. even. And this is the downside of Bowser. He is combo fodder. Yeah, we've had. Oh, dead. luckily for Light, he didn't get hard punished there. Not too much end lag there. Trying to go for what he did before. Playing around the command grab instead, baiting out the up B. Light gonna get out of dodge. Okay, goes for the up B out of shield. I feel like every single hit that's been against Light has been up B out of shield from Leon. Hey, you know what? Take damage. Big the punish! Claw him! Yeah, no cross up coming in from that side B there. If you get to land directly in front of Bowser, you're gonna take that hard punish. You're not Eat. going anywhere with that illusion. We got more up B's for you, champ. Okay, up smash, looking for it. Wants to go for the safe back here and says so you can just run away. I think a big reason. There we go. He wants to make sure it's at kill percent for sure because he does not want to steal these up smashes, especially giving many opportunities for Leon to make a, a second chance at uh, life. This is New Jersey's last hero too, so you know the entire crowd is in this dude's favor. The hometown hero just jabs that, stuffs out that dash in immediately with a quick jab. What's he gonna go for there? That he's staying at the ledge. And the confidence of Light to continuously go for these hitboxes off stage, even though he keeps getting up beat at the ledge, very, very strong, but also rather crazy. And Leon always goes for those forward tilts as well, like uh, on the edge. It, it, it forces Light to make an option quickly. He cannot chill down there, or else Leon's just gonna set him flying. And it's so strong, too. Leon at any point in time could just stay back a little bit and do a dash cancel after what? instead. What? Oh, but the command grab isn't gonna kill just yet, but it did give him stage positioning. There Forward tilt again, edge guarding against Fox with Bowser. Gets the tilt, goes strictly down to the edge. Just stay away from the stage, it's invincible Fox. Yeah, the fact that Fox slightly puts his head above the ledge there, that f going to catch it so well. Not going to kill in. still though. You have to pretty much be plus 160 at this point just to make sure up smash kills. King of the Koopas. Still jumping around. When my man jumps, it shakes PS2. You see that stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Back here, 165 on Leon. Tries again with the neutral air, managed to mash to get back onto the stage, whiffs the grab. Light's gonna try to punish him with these back airs. Yeah, there you go. Trying to disrespect him on his way back. Get and out of here! Smash. What percent was he at? He was at, what, like 70 ish percent right there? 171. Wow! Close off the stock. Here we go with the replay. No way, no way. 71, he exploded. 71. Claw him! Ugh! Look at that hand! That He's gra His hand is bigger than Fox! My goodness. His and hand is bigger than Fox! And they decided to buff that at one point, too. Like, that was slightly weaker and already Yo. had plenty of kill power. And you're like, no, no. We want to make it like Wolf. We want to also provide Bowser with that opportunity to get that kill. So now Leon winning that game number two. Light does have counter pick advantage because he won game number one. Winning that first game is so important in terms yep. of like the counter pick wars in terms of the stages, right? Because now it's up to him to decide what stages we're going to. We're going to Battlefield, which is an interesting stage. I think Light was contemplating heavily on triplats because for one, it's great for Fox. Mm. Two, it's also great for Bowser. Yeah. You get the command grab that gets a little bit earlier on kills. Bowser's gonna live really long on Battlefield, but also Light is gonna get a little bit more survivability out of these wider blast zones as well. And I know that th there's just so much on the line here. Seeing Leon get to winner's finals of a potentially A tier, definitely B tier PGR event, like th that, that, could, that would mean the world to him. Yeah. As well as just like the, 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 the meta the in general. The growth story and the power creep that's being messed with right now, you have probably number three in the world going down to him earlier. You have yeah. definitely top 10 in light, and he is keeping it even, all with Bowser in what would seem like difficult matchups, but he's showing everybody what Bowser can really do. Yeah. Cannot sleep on this. My man can tilt out of a dash now. Okay, up air, not gonna be able to kill just yet. 
There we go. He let go of shield. Nice timing from Light. You got to give it to him. Yeah, good patience. Just kind of waiting that extra half second or so just so he can see if he would shield drop. If he missed, he would have taken a hard punish. Light just immediately running away from that because he knows he, if he if he taps Leon's shield, that's what's going to happen right there. Up B. Good recovery from Light. He's getting back. Goes to the jab. He didn't, he didn't want to commit because of the tough guy. If he actually committed to that, Bowser could just tough guy right through that. Exactly. Also, if he ended up holding on shield, he could have just grabbed him with command grab, taking yeah. a stock right away. You know Light's done the research against Bowser. That and it's definitely showing. Hold on. Light is turning up. Yeah. Light's starting to get a bit of a hold on where he's going with these landings here. But Good night. There you go. Landing right on. Getting to the top platform. Even if he was like 50% lower, probably would have died. Where did he go? He disintegrated. He flew off so fast. And you see Light not trying to play too heavily around the ledge, because you can definitely get a really early gimp if you catch him with one of those fairs. Those fairs are really oh, strong. Oh, this is a really bad spot. Luckily okay. For, yeah, luckily for Light, he still had his jump there. But that trade with the down air. And Leon was hoping for an air dodge. Okay, the Light getting a little ahead of himself with that charge smash attack. And just like that, it's become even. Slow down. What? Oh, and he gets to trade with that down air. What so a trade! We were talking about before, you always have to respect the down air going for some of these aerials, and it works out for Leon. Like, that's something like my, 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 my like, six-year-old sister does, you know? They just go for the down air from the beginning, top of the stage, and it worked. Light, finding an up smash brings us to one stock apiece. This is a game where occasionally reckless abandon is actually a good option. Especially when he has that much- Ooh, wow. Big grabs! The Hold strength up. on the grab. Oh, if he caught him with that F tilt, he could probably dipped off stage, because that would have been his jump. Okay, Light's chilling. Again, dash attack right into that shield. Leon has an answer. Trying to go Missed. for the F2 out the ledge. Yeah, he keeps up being him. And it's just pretty much no answer Light's been able to have over these last 30 seconds or so. And Light is struggling. You saw Leon mashing down air yet again. Light trying to bait it out. Gets stuffed out by the jump, uh, the jab. Oh no! Off the top platform, we're exactly. living! Fantastic DI coming out from Light. Firefox yeah. avoids the forward tilt. Back on stage. Now he has to always be weary of that command grab. Pretty much Here we go. the next one will take it. Goes for it again. The lightning strike twice. No! In fact, you got killed by the down air yet again on the edge of the stage. Leon putting another point on the board in this race to three. And the crowd is alive and well. Definitely not prepared at the ledge there with the extended invincibility going away at that point. And I don't think Light expected that downer actually to hit down there. So you have to be so weary. And he decided to go overcommit, give up stage positioning a little bit, and the perfect timing, it pretty much ended right he at that frame. He was invincible like a frame before, I swear to God. Like, oh my God. Now Leon going up two to one over Light. All with Bowser running through this bracket right now. Light has to find some type of momentum to get this back. You know what I'm getting flashbacks to right now? Light versus Nairo. Oh, of course you are. I was the first thing I was thinking of. Light at collision versus Nairo. Nairo coming in with a reverse 3 0. Difference is, this time we have a character who's just yeah. being main throughout and showing how well he is at this game. Absolutely. And, and obviously, Light definitely going into this match a lot more confident. Yes, I feel. I don't think he's playing scared. I guess what in the blazes is going on? Okay, using the platform to regain a double jump, smart. Gets back to center stage. Light still technically has a percentage lead, but against the Bowser's weight, it might as well be even. Exactly. When you have a percentage lead against a heavy, you pretty much just you need to only focus lead. on when you actually have a kill. Even so, right there, 129% up air, so high. Landing with the command grab. You cannot hold shield. Up smash, finally finding its kill, but you saw Leon almost survived that. Exactly. What an answer from Light. Just like neutral get up into up smash. What is this, a wake up DP? What? Oh, what? What? Yeah. Light committed to the ja uh, jab block there instead. Yeah. Gonna get punished for it. Gonna take the right angle, but up B again. This time, Light actually going to the other side of the stage. Jab again. And that's what I'm talking about. He cannot use jab. That's like that's like ingrained into Light's play style. He wants to use jab because he gets so much damage off of it. It's so quick and safe. Not just that, too. You get the mix up of the Tomahawk pressure. Like when Light's really feeling himself, he gets a lot of throws. That's when you know he's really doing well. And he's not really going for them too often. Fox Illusion is a safe, just hold shield to bait out. Up B catches the roll back onto the stage. Light air dodging through the ledge, forces a two frame pot potential option, escapes the ledge. You see Leon trying to look for the cross up jump there with the back air. And Light, I don't know if he was trying to parry that last hit, but he ended up getting pushed away. Maybe he thought it was too far away to be affected. Oh god, the standstill. Oh, the back ooh, here. Oh, he oh could spot dodge from Light. He would have died if he did not spot dodge. Good stuff. Down air. 
Tries to go for another one. Air dodge is right through the down air, but safer than it seems. It's still kill. He, he didn't even at, need the platform. He, was he didn't even need 80, the platform. Leon is one died. stock away from taking out Mars, taking out Light. But Light's not going down without a fight. Takes away the final stock. One stock apiece here in game number four. Is, are we going to have a Bowser in Winner's Finals? We might finally see a Bowser in, win in Winner's Finals if Light doesn't make this ru uh, run back right now. The entire crowd getting behind Leon. The extending off the platform. Catches the landing again with a dash attack. Light has himself with a slight advantage here. Oh my god, he has to be very careful with his jumps. The overbite those ledges, even at 66%. Gonna get grabbed again. Down throw. Fox screaming no. Forward tilt on the it. fire, Fox! Gets the kill! The crowd is popping off yet again for Leon! Taking out Light, 3 to 1. Brings it back. It. We have the Bowser sitting in winner's finals. Winning not only against Leon Mars, goes but to also winning finals. against Light. What? What a great way to start PGR season two. Just, uh, just coming out and taking out two of New England's finest. Both of them coming down here into NYC. It may be defending North, but you're also defending the turf. And he is the one who's putting in that work, taking out both of them along the way and rather confidently at Yo, that too. Yo, Leon is absolutely insane. Give it up for this man, everybody. What in the world? That's... It just goes Doing to his show. part to keep Tri-State safe from invaders. And our winner's finals has been decided. It's actually going to be a run back from Smash and Splash. I know you guys saw him three-stock Sam Sora there. Are we going to get a repeat performance? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either, Max. But before that, we're going to cut into the loser's quarterfinals. We still have plenty of action on that side of the bracket left. So, going to introduce...